Hey, what's up guys, it's Steve. So today we are gonna be checking out the Thermaworks Smoke X. Uh, this is the four channel model. It also comes in a two channel model. So this is uh, a radio frequency uh, temperature monitoring device. Their Wi-Fi unit is the signals, which I've reviewed before. Uh, kind of the cool thing about this guy is that right on the front here, you can see where they are claiming that it has a transmission range of 1.24 miles. Um, now, of course, that's going to be line of sight, but I'm going to do a couple tests, probably drive around on my truck and get pretty far away and we'll see how far uh, it can uh, retain the signal. So let's go ahead and check this out and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what all is in the box. Got some instructions here. All right, so this is going to be the, the main base unit here that all your probes are gonna be plugged into. Got your ports over on this side, buttons on the front, and then some buttons on the back. This is gonna be your transmitter that you'll have on you when you're cruising around or chilling inside the house. You know, their products always just feel so well built. <clears throat> and then around the side here are your four probes. So these are, here's the little lanyard for the transmitter, I mean the receiver. And then, so we've got our three pit probes here. I'm sorry, our food probes. And then our pit probe here. And you know, it does come with a little great clip. And then these are the little color rings that you can put on your probes that I have never once used on any of my Thermoworks products. Okay, so a couple quick things I wanted to mention is that on this new Smoke X, you'll notice that uh, these um, are going to be running off of AA batteries. But the base unit here does have a US, uh, USB C port on it. And so, what you can do is the power adapter is sold separately. But if you have a signals like I do, it came with one. Um, I've got a video that you can check out on the the signals again, which is their Wi-Fi unit. But then it's also, this new Smoke X is uh, compatible with the Thermoworks Billow. So this is the fan controller that works with a bunch of different cookers. I did a full review video of this as well that you can check out. And so uh, what I wanted to show you, if you're gonna be running your Billows with your new Smoke X, is that you've got the little adapter here where one of these cords is going to the power adapter, uh, the other one is going to the billows, and then it would be plugged into your, your USB-C port here uh, on, <clears throat> on the base unit. Uh, they do state on the back of the box here that uh, the base unit off of two AA should run about 330 hours and the receiver about 1800 hours. So obviously I'm gonna to have to, you know, test that out and see how the batteries do over time. Okay, so I'm not going to be using the billows for my test cook uh, to see how far the receiver can pick up the signal, but I did wanna go ahead and just demonstrate if you did have it hooked up. So I've got the, the billows hooked up to the Smoke X, if I hit the backlight here, my pit probe is plugged into the fourth channel. And if you can see right there, there's a little fan icon that pops up whenever you have the billows plugged into it. Okay, so on our base unit here, uh, I'm gonna walk you through the different buttons. Go ahead and turn that backlight on. We've got our channel button, a set button with up and down arrows, and then a volume. You can, this thing gets incredibly loud or you can turn the volume all the way off. So all I gotta do 
to uh, control your settings here is you're just going to hit your channel button to cycle through your different channels and it's starting to flash that channel one and you're just going to hit set. First thing it's asking you is if you want to turn the, the audible alarm on or off and then your high temp starts flashing. You can set that up or down, hit set again, your low temp starts flashing and then you just hit set again. You'd go ahead and just start cycling through all your different channels there. So very, very easy and straightforward to operate on the base unit here. And a quick shot at the receiver, and you're obviously just seeing everything that the, the base unit is showing. So we've got our two channels up here with all of our temps. All right, I am out here at my Kamado Joe Big Joe, and I threw on a couple little tasty pork tenderloins. So I've got the Smoke X here on my top two channels. I've got the, the high temp set to 130. I don't want these to go past that because I'm gonna end up searing those later um, in a skillet to finish those off. And then my pit probe down here, I've got set uh, for alarm to go off if, if the Kamado gets hotter than 250. So we're gonna go ahead and just let this ride. What I'm gonna do now is go hop in my truck with a receiver. I've got some spots around around my community I'm gonna to drive to. And then a little bit later on, I'm gonna report back to you guys on how that went. I'm gonna have a graphic that'll kind of help you visualize all that. All right, let's go ahead and talk about real quick how my test went as far as range goes. So I hopped in my truck, drove around uh, five or six places here in my community. I've got a graphic up. The yellow circle represents that 1.24 uh, miles of claimed line of sight distance. Now obviously, you know, in most situations you're not gonna have line of sight. So the red arrows represent places I went to that were further off. So like a grocery store, couple restaurants uh, that I go to frequently. Those uh, were, you know, about a mile away, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 mile away. Definitely did not have signal. Uh, and then right as I started getting back to my, close to my neighborhood, probably about 0.3 miles away, I pick signal back up. And then you can see a couple of the green arrows there that are in my neighborhood. Uh, one was behind a whole bunch of houses on the other side and it did not have signal. And then in another uh, spot in my neighborhood where there's not much obstruction in the way, I, I had signal. So hopefully that kind of just gives you a good example of what you can expect as far as range goes with this unit. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video review of the Smoke X. I think if you're not looking for the uh, Wi-Fi capability that the Signals provides, this is a great option. You can get this unit again in two or four channels. Super easy to use, straight out of the box. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments section. I'll definitely do my best to answer those. And I appreciate you guys stopping by and we'll see you again soon.